Let's now shift our attention to the other big story that we are tracking here in Vyond, where Japan wants nearly about 30% of the executives at major firms to be held by women by 2030. That's seven years from now. And to do this, it's come up with a series of plans. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida's administration is striving to foster more inclusive corporate landscape. This is a move that would be aimed at narrowing the gender gap in the economy right at the very top. The Japanese government aims to promote the appointment of women to higher positions and also it seeks to advance gender equity in the workplace. The policies which is being pushed by the Council for Gender Equality is set to be approved by the government by the end of this month. The policy draft is suggestive of how women's appointments as executives in Japan has significantly lagged behind in comparison to the international graph. Now, of the firms listed on the prime market under the Tokyo Stock Exchange, only about 2.2% had 30% of their executive roles filled by women. The data collected at the end of July 2022 also showed that a huge number of these companies do not have any women board members. The public and the private sectors in Japan are trying to strengthen support for women entrepreneurs with the government now implementing the necessary measures to improve women's income. And this would also include benefits for child care, which would also help tackle the phenomenon of women giving up full-time employment after childbirth. The Japan ranked 104th in a report on economic opportunities for women by World Bank and 116th in the gender gap rankings by the World Economic Forum in 2022. The island nation is now working its way towards a better economy by putting more women into decision-making roles. International Monetary Fund data also suggests that nearly about 40% of the global labor force and more than half the world's university students are women. And overall productivity will increase if their skills and talents are used in full strength. And yet according to the World Economic Forum, close to nearly about 30% of the world's leadership roles are being filled by women, while the share of women hired into leadership is also staggeringly low. Now, according to the Fortune 500 survey, women have in fact reached a record in the list. The index has said that 52 of the Fortune 500 companies are in fact at this moment being led by women. And Japan's decision is a small but a significant step in the right direction. But women and women's equality has a long and a jarring, harrowing journey ahead. Now, the irony of this remains that although a record for the world, the number amounts to just about 10.4 percent of the total leadership positions which are at this moment helmed by women. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.